Hi, I'm Sean and welcome to this tech. Today we're going to be reviewing this USB hub from Millul. It's a USB 3, 3 port hub with gigabit ethernet as well. On the packaging it says it's um, obviously a USB 3 hub with three ports. Um, it's backward compatible with USB 1 and 2 and also the gigabit ethernet. It's got um, 10, 100, um, 10 100 1000 base T so it's all the way from 10 megabit up, um, up to gigabit. Um, and other than that, it also it comes on the actual device itself with drivers uh, which appear as a USB hard drive uh, for older operating systems such as Windows XP. So let's have a look inside the box and see what we get. Simple box, device itself, just the cardboard from the packaging with the specifications on and the plastics, let's get rid of that. Okay, so this is the device itself. Now what I didn't expect is it's actually a nice metal body to this, it's actually really smart with a nice silver bezel around the edges there as well. Um, and then we've got the three USB 3.0 ports and then on the end of the device there we have the gigabit ethernet um, port as well. Then a short piece of cable and then the USB 3.0 connection there. Okay, so let's have a look what this device works like. So on my tablet, it's gonna be quite useful because I only have one Type-C USB connection on here. So um, it's kind of limited when I'm doing things. Um, so I can't plug in multiple USB devices. And another thing is, well, I don't, I don't have a ethernet connection on here as well, with it being a tablet stroke laptop. So let's have a little look. I'm gonna use a little connector here to let it go to connect to USB-C. And we'll go ahead and we'll pop that in. Let's move this over here so you can see better. So there we go, you can see straight away that it's lit up with um, the blue indicator there to say it's powered up. Well, let's try some devices in here. So we've got my USB hard drive, a little Seagate one. We'll go ahead and we'll try that. And this is a USB 3 connected device as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll try that in here. Straight away. The hard drive has powered up. We've got a little indicate light on there. So let's power my hard drive, no problem. And as you can see on my computer screen here, it's popped up with the drive D backups, which is my backup drive. And there you go, you can see there's my file. So uh, let's try plugging in something else. So we'll try plugging in, um, we've got a little um, 16 gig SD card here. So we'll go ahead and we'll try plugging that in as well. Okay, and straight away that's come up as well. What we'll do is we'll do a little copy test, make sure we're getting the correct data through port and um, we're not losing any speed. In my documents here, I've got the edit video editing software that I use here. And we're just gonna do a quick copy and we're gonna copy that file across to my hard drive first of all. And we'll see if that, how that copies. What kind of speeds we get. There we go, it's copying nice and fast across to my hard drive from my tablet. So that's working quite nicely. Um, and what we'll do is we'll try copying that same file to the SD card as well and see what type of speed we get. There we go, and it's copying perfectly fine as, as expected to do by USB C, um, USB 3, sorry. Okay, so that's copying away. We'll leave that going for a moment. Um, what we'll do as well is I will get an ethernet cable and we will try this out um, connecting to one net my network. I'm not hardwiring in here, I've got this going to an access point, but we'll just see if the actual network interface works. There you go, you can see that file is now copied. Okay, so the file copying works fine. So now let's go ahead and we'll try um, connecting the ethernet and see how that works. So let's remove these USB devices for now. Just getting in the way. Okay, let's have a look. So, we're going to the computer first of all and we'll have a look if we can see the network device to start with. And you can 
see the Wi-Fi I'm connected to currently. And now, here we go, this, this laptop SSA does not have um, Ethernet on, and now we can see a wide, this is a USB Realtek family controller. So let's go ahead and we'll try plugging this into my network. There we go. Straight away it's connected, and hopefully we've got connected it a gigabit connection. And this probably won't get internet connect access on here because this access point isn't actually connected to my internet connection, just to my network. But there you go, you see straight away we've got a gigabit speed. So works exactly as I expected it to. So that was my short little unboxing and short review of this Mill Rule um, USB 3 and gigabit. A USB hub. If you want to find out where you can purchase this, there's a link in the video description down below where you can purchase this item on Amazon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching this tech.